What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFacts.net, and we are inside of Sony Vegas Pro 12. And what we're going to be talking about now is the proxy. And what a proxy is is that it enables you to put a copy of the video onto your hard drive so that it can actually be read into Sony Vegas uh, at a faster pace. Let's say that you've got a project and it's rendering out slowly. Well, if you create a proxy for that, then it gives it something to read from that stays within memory. And so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the proxy. We're inside of folder one, so let's come over here. What you do is that you drag the images that you want. So we're just going to drag in this one image, which is uh, 45.7 megabytes. And so we're going to drive, drag in this image, and we're going to choose yes to our project video settings to match this video. Now we come over here and we click Project Media. Once you click on Project Media, let's keep an eye over here. We've already got the temp file, which is file 0016.mov.sfk. And that file is just a small little 68.8 KB. However, whenever we right click on our file here, we right click on it and we go to Create Video Proxy. Okay, and as you can see right down here, it is actually creating our video for us, which is right here. Now let's actually keep an eye on the size of our video as it creates it. Right now it's sitting at 28 megabytes, and remember our original video is 45.7 megabytes. So this one right here is now at 82.1. And so you, you got to keep in mind, if you got a very large project that you're going to be doing, make sure that you've got the drive space. So let's say, for hypothetically, you've got about uh, 45 minutes worth of video. Okay, you're going to take up several gigs creating these proxies. Okay, so I mean, it's at 206 megabytes for that one file creating this proxy. And so that's one thing to keep in mind is that do I want to create a proxy or do I don't want to create a proxy? I mean, the proxy is going to come in awfully handy because it's going to make it to where your um, your view right here, it, your preview, is going to be read a lot faster. However, you're going to take this 16, I mean, 45.7 megabyte file, it's going to be turned in to 269 megabytes and so that's one thing to keep in mind whenever you're going to be doing a proxy however while you're working on the proxy I mean it's it's going to read it in really fast let's go ahead and bring down the volume here I mean it's it's going to read it in very fast like so I mean th this is my laptop it doesn't have the best video card in the world it's uh, I think 128 megabyte for dedicated memory off from a 2 gig video card go figure and it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM in it and a i5 processor and so but I mean it does really well for being able to read this data in pretty quickly using the proxy and so let's say that we bring in another video and we don't use the proxy on it okay and this is just a small little video and uh, so but I mean my system seems to read them pretty daggone good so I'm pretty happy with that and it's at best full and so uh, it does really well but if we wanted to make it actually better uh, then we would right click on it and let's like I said I mean this file right here is 7.30 megabytes so let's see how uh, this one will grow once again you got to go to your project media in order for it to be enabled and then create proxy and click OK there and so our original is 7.30 and right now it's sitting at 22.9 and 33, 36.3 and then it's going to end at 48.6 so once again it started out at only 7.30 megabytes and now it's at 48.6 so between these two files you're looking at 317 megabytes and so I mean, hard drive space is very easy to get a hold of however if you're running an SD card that's a different story and so uh, but uh, using uh, your your terabytes double terabytes and triple terabyte uh, hard drives you're never going to run out of space so this right here is actually a really good 
option for you to look at if you want to speed up your work process. It just takes a little bit of time for it to convert the file over to this um, uh, SFVPO file. So anyway, this is Wayne Brown with darkfakes.net about the proxy in Vegas Pro 12. All right, this is lesson number six. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.